Welcome to HTTP indexing with SearchBlocks 8.0 software. Today we're going to create an HTTP collection, explore HTTP settings, menu options, and start indexing. Once you log in to the admin console, there should be a default HTTP collection. But for this example, we will create a new one. Make sure you are under Collections. Click the blue Add Collection button. Give your collection a name. Select the collection type. Choose HTTP. Select your language of choice. And finally, click the blue Add button. An HTTP collection has been successfully created. You can configure the collection two ways, by clicking on the title of your new HTTP or by clicking on the light blue configuration button. Doing so will reveal the HTTP menu, paths, settings, synonyms, index, and documents. I am now going to go over each of the HTTP menu options in various settings. First, we need to define our path before we start indexing. The root URL is the direct path search blocks will use as a starting point to index. For this example, I will be using CNN.com. Make sure to type in the full URL address. For allow paths, the period asterisk will allow the spider to index any site linked from the root URL. By adding the root URL plus the period asterisk will inform the spider to stay within the root site. You can have multiple URLs for each of these. For disallow paths, three examples. You can have JSP, Java server pages, CGI bin, this holds running scripts, or an internal. You can also select the formats you want indexed. You have 34 options. Save your changes with the blue button and you can now index. Moving on to settings, you can choose keyword and context display. HTML parser settings, I can change the description. I can select from the meta description or a number of heading options that is within the HTML. For scanner settings, I can change the maximum age of a document I want indexed and the maximum size of a document. Note that I am using example preferences. Please choose the best options for your searching needs. I can change the spider depth. This refers to the number of link connections or depth the spider will search from the root URL before it stops. I can change the spider delay. I can add a refer. I can choose to ignore robots. I can follow sitemaps. This refers to a list of web pages that connect to one another. I can follow redirects. Some HTTP needs authentication. The next section is for HTTP, form, and proxy server settings authentication. You can fill in these various sections accordingly. Relevance of the indexing can also be altered. I can change the boosting. This refers to the process of enhancing the relevance of a document or field. I can remove duplicates. I can choose stimming. Keyword stimming involves taking a basic keyword, adding a prefix, suffix, or making it plural. For example, searcher, searches, searching, and searched. All derive from the word search. I can use spelling suggestions and also enable logging. Use the blue button to apply and save changes. You can also define your own word synonyms to improve searchability. Please note the examples that have already been created. Within the typing box, you can define your own. Any line with a pound symbol is a comment and will not apply to the definition. Be sure to read through the comment explanations. You can create alternative synonyms 
with explicit mapping by defining the left-hand side to equal the right-hand side of a statement. You can also create equivalent synonyms by using commas in between each word. I will create my own as an example explicit mapping. Podcast, two separate words, is equal to the word podcast, one word. Save changes with the blue button. On to indexing settings. I have the ability to clear, index, and refresh my search. I have the ability to schedule each. Scheduling consists of monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, every minute, and once. The date can be specified as well as the time. You want to schedule for your own search needs. However, you do not need to schedule to control the indexing. You can also do it manually. Onto documents, you can add a location of additional documents you would like to index. Simply put the path or URL of the document and click the Add button. Now that I have changed my HTML settings, I could start searching. On the Collections homepage, there is a search button. I can search within the admin console. I search CNN.com with the term technology. I have a few display result viewing options, or you can use the search blocks search URL located within the search blocks folder in your computer applications. This is a great layout and design. There are a lot more search result viewing options and faceted search control. This concludes this tutorial. Stay tuned for faceted search and Twitter indexing. And remember, search is simple with SearchBlocks software.